Alright, so how can you make your eyes huge but still not overdone? I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks what I do to make my eyes huge. Of course, if you wake up in the morning and you apply false lashes, put on some dark grey eyeshadow, blend it to your ears. So, let's see how we can make our eyes huge but without making them overdone. I've already applied my foundation and some powder and I've done my brows, I've done my lips. So my first tip is to apply concealer around your eyes. My eyes are pretty sensitive, so this is the concealer I like because it's very natural. It doesn't irritate my eyes at all. You can buy a water-resistant pencil, light foundation kind of a color. If you erase all of your natural shadows on your face, then it will be a great canvas to create something new, to create a new shape. You can apply it only on your lower lid. Uh, you should lighten here. I'm not talking about the tear dots, I'm talking about the nose sides. So you need to lighten them too. You want to move your eyes forward by lightening the area. The second tip. Now I'm gonna apply some matte white eyeshadow on my lid. But you can take any light color that you like. I personally think that matte is better because it doesn't reflect the light and all we want to create is a different eye shape. If the light will be reflected, then everybody can see your own surface of your eye shape, same as with the face. So the tip number three. Now you can apply some neutral matte eyeshadow on the crease, above the crease. It should be very well blended upwards. like this. A tip number four is to apply a natural eyeshadow on your lower lid. I'm taking a natural eyeshadow that mimics the color of your natural shadow of your face. So when I smile you can see a natural shadow here. This shadow is making your eyes huge and round. So I'm gonna mimic this shadow now. I'm not gonna go close to the lower lashes. I'm just making it a little bit lower. And we're gonna blend it later. So basically I'm sculpting the eyes now. Now the tip number five. With wet thin brush like this. You should apply dark brown or gray color on your lash line. Uh, make sure you go very close to the lashes. That will create that no makeup look. If your eyes are close to each other, you don't want to go here. But for those of you who has normal distance between their eyes or your eyes are far from each other, you can definitely make them even bigger, prolonging the line here. Here, I'm going to prolong the line down there. But I look too sad and tired. So later I will have to lift it up, but for now I'm going to just prolong it and then connect with the shadow under my eye and I'm going to blend it in the end and I connect them. Tip number six. I was so upset when many brands discontinued this type of mascara, Bourjois, L'Oreal, and many others. Like, that was my favorite mascara. I found this one somewhere in Russia. So first I'm applying this white mascara. Now, I'm gonna apply it from the roots to the tips. Not many layers, one or two. Like this, and on your bottom lashes, I would suggest three layers or something. Starting from the roots of your lashes. It's not about volumizing your lashes. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, now let it dry. Tip number seven. I'm taking any volumizing mascara. Brown mascara would be even better for that look. And what I'm doing, I move the brush a little bit to a side and then I take it off. Like this. So on this side 
of the brush there is loads of mascara and on this side of the brush there is no mascara at all so I'm gonna apply mascara with this side but you don't have to do this if you don't like doll lashes or spider lashes you just apply it regularly but what I suggest you to do not to not to apply it on the roots of your lashes but apply it only on your tips it will make your eyes light I'm applying only on the tips of my bottom lashes You just go about one or two millimeters away from your roots. Now here, again, I'm touching only the ends. If the roots of our lashes are not painted, then your eyes look a little bit naked with these very fluffy lashes around. Blend a little bit the eyeshadow under my lashes here. The next tip is to draw a last lash. Because now I want to lift my eye up. Before I applied my mascara, I didn't see that last point where this wing should be. But now I can see and I'm gonna make this wing with wet thin brush. I'm gonna apply gray eyeshadow. I'm gonna do this wing. Now, if I look straight in the mirror, I can see where's my last lash and I want to mimic it and draw a last lash upwards. So it should be same direction. But I'm gonna draw it and pull it a little bit longer. So that's it. This is my tricks on how to make your eyes huge without overdone. And by the way, I'm using the same eye makeup when I'm wearing a red lipstick. I'm using Film Cotton Lip Crayon. Cool red, I would say. It's matte and it looks gorgeous. And you're good to go. Okay, so this is the end of my big eyes tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you tried it, let me know in the comments how did it go. I'll see you soon. Bye!